following is a summary of Mia's and Scott McFooty's World Cup predictions from their pre-tournament shows. All right then, today we are going to tell you about the first group of four teams the organizers put together. They are called Group A, probably because A is the first letter of the alphabet. You know, I didn't know that. That makes good, good sense. Oh, Scotty. I was just kidding. Let me continue. So everyone, Group A has four teams, and they include the countries of the Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal, and the host country, Qatar. Yes, and I think Scotty and I believe out of this group of four countries, the Netherlands will advance as they are a super fantastic team. And for the second team, many people believe that Ecuador no, 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 will advance. No, 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 no. However, Jack and I don't. We think Senegal, from the continent of Africa, will be a surprise team, and will advance from this group of four. Yes, Mia. And you know Qatar, being a gracious host, will bow out politely, but luckily they won't have too far to travel to get home. That's true Scotty McFooty, that's true. So we will see you all tomorrow, as we will discuss the second group of teams, or Group B. Yes, we will discuss Group B, which of course is the second letter of the alphabet. See you tomorrow everyone. Hello soccer fans. Hey Maya, do you hear the buzzing? What do you mean, do I hear the buzzing? Well, you know how we are talking today about the bees. You know, the bee group teams. And of course, all bees, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ha, huh, Scotty. Hey there, you know what else is buzzing Scott? The buzzing talk around the world about the upcoming World Cup of Soccer. Good one Maya, and I agree, there is a good soccer talk buzz everywhere. Okay, let's start the talk about the B teams. Do you know which countries are playing in the Group B games this year? I sure do Maya. First, there are two teams from the United Kingdom, that is England and Wales. That should be an interesting game between those two teams, as their countries are right beside each other. Yes. And then the other two teams in Group B we have, are Iran from the Middle East, and one of the largest countries in the world, the United States of America. Which two teams do you think will advance, Scott? Well I think for sure, England will advance, they have too many good players to not be successful. I agree, England will advance for sure. The second team though, is a toss up I think. I agree with you on that, Maya. So, who would you like to pick? Though the experts don't agree with this selection, let's go with the big. The big country. Sure, sounds good to me. So everyone, in summary, Maya and I think that England and the USA will advance from Group B. So Scott, that's a wrap on the Bumblebee group. Hopefully we will see everyone return to our show tomorrow for the Group C discussion. See you, and the C group, tomorrow. Hello soccer fans. Well you all have to know that Scotty and I are so delighted to see you. Come to see the World Cup of Soccer C group discussion today. Yes we are Maya, thank you everyone for coming back to our show. Though we think this may be the easiest pre-tournament show we will have to do, all because the picks, we think are so straightforward in Group C. We shall see about that Scotty. <laughs> In Group C, we have Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia and Argentina. One of these teams just absolutely stands out. As the best in this group, and maybe in all of the tournament. Is that because that team has one of the best players in the world in? Lionel, Andres, Messi. Perhaps. But they also have some other fantastic players too. Argentina is a great powerhouse in soccer, and they will undoubtedly advance from Group C. Agree Maya. Also, we both think Poland should advance in Group C with no problems too. Though Mexico may give them a small fight in doing so because they have advanced from the initial group play in the last eight, yes I said eight, World Cups. That truly is impressive Mexico. However, we think the talent of Poland will win over the experience and grit of Mexico. So in summary, we believe from Group C that Poland and Argentina will advance in the World Cup tournament. Sending Saudi Arabia and Mexico home. Bye bye, and see you. Yes, we will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Hello to all our soccer fans around the world. Welcome to the Group D World Cup pre-tournament discussion. My name is Scott McFooty. And I am Mia Cross Hederin, or Mia for short. We are delighted you took the time to join us today. Thank you. You know Scott, I think the D in Group D stands for done deal. I think so too Maya. If France and Denmark don't advance from the Group D games, we will be both absolutely shocked. Yes yes, they both are way too strong for the other two teams in the D group. So Australia and Tunisia, we think you will be heading home after the Group D games. Yep as Maya. Those two less talented teams will be packing their bags, as both France and Denmark have way too much speed and talent for them. 
Not much else to say today Scott, so we will keep this show short, and say it is a done deal. Yep, done deal. Bye everyone, and see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, Bye. and welcome to our fifth soccer group discussion. I'm Mia, and we are delighted you came back for the group e-talk, just like all the cats do. Yes fans, thank you for coming back to the group e-discussion. Though, I don't know why Maya mentioned cats. They do start with the letter C, and this is, Group E. You know Scott, the cat came back, the very next day, song? Oh oh. I get it now. However, I still think, like, elephants would have been a better animal to use, because, they start with the letter E. I suppose. And I guess it kind of makes sense, as Group E, has two very strong teams, like elephants. Exactly. And I know who you are thinking of. Could it be Germany and Spain? In my opinion, they are the elephants in Group E. Yes Scott, Germany and Spain are the elephants. And, I just don't see Japan or Costa Rica giving these two previous World Cup soccer champions, too much trouble, or difficulty in winning in Group E. Well, when you say it that way Maya, I even agree with you more. Germany and Spain advances, Costa Rica and Japan, they will be packing up, and heading home after Group E play. Yes, and Scotty, I have to say I am really looking forward to the Group F discussion tomorrow as one of the teams I really admire, is in that group. Which team is that, Maya? Well, I am not telling you now, Mr. Scott McFooty. I will let you, and all of our fans know, about my secret team that I admire, tomorrow. Oh, dang, I hate to wait, I'm so impatient. But, I suppose I will have to. We will see Yoel tomorrow. Bye, hello everybody, I am glad you could join us. Yes, hello everybody, and welcome to the very tough, but interesting Group F, discussion. After hearing what you said yesterday Maya, I'm so excited, so let's get this Group F show, going. Okie dokie, Scott. So yesterday Maya, you said you really, really, admire, and, were excited about one of these teams in Group F. Yes, yes, I did say that. Well, which team is it? Well McFooty, though most experts don't give them any kind of chance. I really, really admire, and am excited about the Canadian soccer team. They have some very dynamic and very special young soccer players on Team Canada. I think, and I hope, they will advance from Group F. Interesting selection Maya, interesting. Canada may advance, but really any of the four teams, Belgium, Morocco, Croatia, or Canada, could advance. True, but I really like and admire Canada. You may admire them, but really, we have to say all the teams could advance or be sent home. It really is a toss-up. Sometimes Scott, you just have to go with your soccer, heart. So, I am going to go out on a limb and say, with my soccer heart, that Canada and Belgium will advance and Croatia and Morocco will go home, after the Group F play. I see you really, really, like and admire Canada. Who couldn't? Well you heard it here first, everyone. See you all tomorrow, for the Group G discussion. Bye everyone. I can't believe it Maya. It's just a few long, long days until the World Cup of Soccer begins. Yes it is, and I am so excited too Scott. I think the first game is going to be played on November 20th, that's this Sunday. Yes it is, and isn't it great? Speaking of great, which starts with the letter G. We probably should get this socky talky episode rolling, and discuss the Group G teams. Sounds good Scotty, do you know which teams are in Group G? Yepers. First, there is the super powerful Brazil team, there is no question that Brazil will advance from the Group G play. Agreed, Brazil has too much ball skill, speed, and experience not to advance. The other three teams, Switzerland, Cameroon, and Serbia, will have to battle it out to see who advances with Brazil. I think it will be the country that starts with the letter S. I agree Maya, I don't think Cameroon has the talent to keep up with either of the S teams. So... I have to say, I have no heart for either of the S teams, like I did with Canada. So I flipped a coin to decide which team to take because they are so even. Oh my goodness. What happened? Well, the flip of the coin said that Switzerland will advance and that Serbia will be going home. Sorry, Serbia. Yikes, Maya, with our luck, Serbia will advance. However, we will take Switzerland because the coin has spoken. Yes, the coin has spoken. Switzerland it is. Okay everyone, see you tomorrow for our 8th and last group discussion. Oh, by the way, the 8th letter of the alphabet is H, so it will be group H discussion tomorrow. Bye now, everyone. That it is just two more sleeps, until the big World Cup tournament. I am so excited. You pee, for that, and I have to say, for the last group discussion, on what might happen.
I am not terribly fond of discussions on what ifs. I like to know and talk about what happens. Thank goodness, Maya and I will be doing that once the World Cup tournament starts on Sunday. I understand what you are saying Scott, so let's get on with our last group discussion. For Group H, there is no question that Uruguay will be one of the teams that will advance, and unfortunately for Korea, they will be sent packing their bags, which means they will be eliminated from further play. Agreed, Uruguay are experienced and talented, and Korea is not. Therefore, Uruguay advances, Korea is sent home. Scott, what do you think about the other two teams in Group H, Ghana and Portugal? Well Maya, all the experts say, and think, Portugal will advance. But I think, Ghana will pull the upset here, and advance from Group H with Uruguay. What do you think of that? I like it. So, Group H has Uruguay and Ghana advancing. You know what else I like about this? I sure do Maya, you really, really like that the tournament starts in just two sleeps. You know me too well, Scott McFoody. Just two, well. Thanks everybody for watching, and we will see you at the next episode of Socky Talky. Bye for now. Bye, Thanks everyone. for watching everyone. Scott and Mia asked me to ask you if you can do them a favor and share their video clips with others. Also, they would love if you all could subscribe to the chat channel. Thanks everyone, and bye for now.